Good steal by Hogard, so nine points for him now. I wouldn't be surprised to see him start against Nebraska just because he's played hard. I'm from coastal Pennsylvania. Growing up there, it was kind of tough because it's a small city outside of Philadelphia, so we don't get the bright light like the city does. It was just tough growing up under the radar and having to compete on a high level at whatever you do. When I was four, I started really playing basketball, but I always watched it growing up because my dad played basketball um, and it was just something I wanted to do. But I also played baseball and football. I used to work out 45 minutes a day, 15 minutes of each because my attention span was so small because I was just a four-year-old kid who couldn't pay attention for so long. So when I got 12, I decided that I just wanted to play basketball and quit all other sports and just focus on that because that's where my passion and my love was. In my household, it's just me, my sister, my mom, and my dad. I didn't have a brother, of course, but Lonnie Brown, my cousin that I consider my brother, was like my brother figure growing up. He kind of was the guy I looked up to. He was in the sneakers, I was in the sneakers. Everything he did, I kind of wanted to do. I wanted to follow in his light. Music was kind of a big thing that kind of made our relationship click. I was like five, and this is when 50 Cent had just dropped. It might have been Get Rich or Die Trying. He had brought me the CD because he had it. Because like everything that he got, he would get from me because I was like his little brother that he didn't have. I got the CD and I was used to play it a lot in the house. And it was explicit at the time and I was five years old, like I said. So, and that kind of just brought us so much closer together because it was like funny moments with the music because my mom didn't allow me to do it. But when she wasn't around, we would listen to it together. It was just little things like that. The reaction when I found out he was no longer with us was crazy because I just was in the mall the day before and I happened to run into him at the mall and everything was perfect. We were smiling, laughing. And then like the next day I wake up and I get the call and find out that he's no longer here. And it was just, it was heartbreaking because he was somebody I looked up to. It was just crazy to me because we would go in the backyard, ride the dirt bikes four wheels together, um, take naps together, watch, play video games against each other. It was just a lot that was missing when that happened, when I when I realized what was really going on. And it was just it was just heartbreaking. I wore number eleven. That was my brother's number. He wore eleven, so it brings joy to me and my family. It's just special. At the time, early I didn't wanna I didn't wanna wear it. I didn't wanna I didn't feel like that was I just wanted to kinda leave that to him. But then I got to high school and I was like, this would be good for me to just have him out there with me and, and spare it with me while wearing this number while I'm out there on the floor each and every night. With the ball, Henry. Henry down the lane, floaters way. Good! It's good! A line drive floater went right through, and he's fouled. Aaron was wearing number 11 when I got here, and I was on my official, and I was was touring the weight room at the time. And Aaron, I guess, had a little lift before the open gym. And I was just joking with him. We were joking back and forth. I was like, I need a number 11 when I get here. I didn't even commit yet. I was just joking around with him. A freshman asking an upperclassman for the number, I mean, it's, it's laughing matters at the most. But, you know, just where I come from in, in inner city and where he comes from inner city, like, you know, that number can mean something to somebody. So if somebody says that, it's kind of person. He was like, we could play one on one for it. And then it was just a joking matter. And then when I actually committed, he was like, yeah, bro, we could still play one on one for it. It wasn't really that serious to me because I felt like that was his number. And it w it meant a lot to me, of course, as it, as it does now. But I'm like, it's going to be hard for me to get a number from him because that's his number. He's been wearing it for two years. And then one day he just came to me and was like, bro, you can wear number 11 because it means so much more to you than it means to me. And that just kind of was surprising. And it, it just made me so happy because he did it out of the kindness of his heart and he didn't have to. I mean, I, I was almost shocked. Because usually a player, when he has his number, that's very important to him. Why Aaron at the time? Because at the time, when he did it, I didn't even know if AJ would play at all. You know, we, we played one-on-one -on -one a numerous amount of times. I ain't gonna say too much about that, but it wasn't a big decision for me. 11 has no real significance to me. You know, it was just a number that I wore throughout college and uh, some AAU time. But to him, it meant the world to him. So, I mean, I mean, that's my teammate, that's my brother, man. I do anything for any of my teammates, so. That's the least I could do, I feel like. It's not about me, it's about we. That impressed me about Aaron, if you want the truth, because 
players don't give up their numbers, you know, it's like their girlfriends. I mean, you don't, you know, you don't give those up. And uh, he did. I don't know what the conversation was like. I wasn't involved in the conversation, which makes it even cooler if you ask me. A lot of places speak on family and you'll never know because you're not there. And I'm here and I see that the family means so much around here that little things like that have happened. And the family culture here is so tight knit and it just shows because he gave me his number when he didn't have to. Here comes Michigan State. Now to Hogarth, drives the baseline, shots away, it's good, and he's got his first Spartan bucket. Well, A.J. Hogarth is an interesting case. You know, he wasn't maybe as highly recruited, but Mike Garland and I, Dwayne Stevens, we saw him in an AU tournament. We knew he played for a good prep school because that's where Miles Bridges went. We saw a guy that could be multidimensional. He has one thing that Denzel Valentine now is the closest, I think, a bigger guard that has a very high basketball IQ. Can really see the floor, his assist to turnover ratio is already off the charts. I think he can make players better. He's a guy that has a great feel for the game. He's an athletic big guard, man. Plays defense, he's tough, man. He, he can do a lot of things on the court. You know, he gets guys good shots, he gets guys open. He knows how to make his teammates better. And watching AJ start was, was tremendous. You know, he felt like he fit right in. I didn't see any hesitance out of him. I have nothing but faith in AJ, just based off of what I see every day in practice and in the games as well. Starting as a freshman doesn't always just happen. It's just this, just not given. Starting at the point guard position shows how much they trust me and everyone's in it for each other. And it goes to show when each and every guy talks to me and helps me through the process of me making that adjustment, me starting the first game against Nebraska. They, everyone was just so helpful and just giving me words of encouragement and pointers here and helping me go out and be successful each and every night. It's been a good relationship with him and Aaron. And I think Aaron is starting to really show him what he went through as a freshman when he didn't play hard enough and do the things that you got to do. So he brings something for us, even though he's only a freshman, he just has a feel for the game. And that feel for the game, I think, is, is going to move him more towards the Denzel, if he ever works as hard as Denzel. You know, just his work ethic will take him so far. AJ is a guy that, that will be one of the better ones here. You know, just some of the passes he's thrown in practice, the, the, the dribble moves he's made, and his, his leadership that he's shown him just in that starting role right now. And just for him to carry that with his brother's legacy, man, I'm, I'm happy for him. That's what he wanted to do. That's what he came to me and asked for the number four, man. And, and if I'm his family, I'm happy for him because he's doing a wonderful job on and off the court. I try to bring my all each and every night and I'm the first person in my family to be at this level so is it just a tribute to my brother while I'm on the court because that would mean so much to him and playing somewhere like this he could probably only just imagine where I'm at right now and just be happy for me so it just means a lot for me to just strive and continue to get better each and every day down the road.